doop 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 Hi. Hello. Hi. Jeremy was first in. Yeah, they did. They knocked down the damn bridge. <laughs> they knocked down our damn bridge. I'm just trying to find the bridge. Where's that confounded bridge? Um, yeah, that was crazy watching that. I saw that it was all over TikTok. Tons of... Um, uh, I don't know how many people were killed. It seemed like not that many considering how big it was, but still, I mean, any is just horrible. Uh, it was crazy to see it, though. Jenna P., good morning. Hi, Jenna. Benjamin Peters. Hi, Foxanne. There's Dennis. What's going on? Shady Gritty. I'm doing his voice for some reason. There's Whip. Uh, what's going on, Whip? Hello, sir. Oh, Scrolling down, just saying some highs. Get this thing going. There's Lori. Lori's joining us today. Hi, Lori. Hope the grandkids are doing well. There's Xana Dude. One more time. Thank you, Mr. Mark. You know what for? Um, J Rock does stuff. Hello, Eric Y Rock. J Rock and Eric Y Rock. Rock it out. Rock out with your socks out. Flushy, what's up, Chris? Hello, sir. Uh. Sorry. <clears throat> Hi. <coughs> Stephen P., what's up, my friend? Nathan. Nathan, hope you're having a good day, sir. Man, I've missed all of your live streams. You've done quite a few, and I've missed pretty much every one of them. I'm sorry. Hi, Big Cat. Two Cooley. Hi, Kyle. Outside in. Hello, Peas and Haps. Aquatic Moose. Kevin, what's going on? JJ McCarthy is now considered a top two prospect. I, I have not... Um, I'm just worried they're going to do the wrong thing. That's all. I'm just worried they're going to do the wrong thing. When it comes to quarterbacks, uh, yeah, um, the Bears, you know, some of Sid Luckman's records are still standing for the Bears, I believe. And, you know, he was the quarterback like in the 40s, you know. It just tells you, you know. Um, Aquatic Moose, hi, Moosey Moose. And I think I adopted you as my dad. I know. I let you down. Yeah, you're used to that. You're used to being let down by your dad. I don't, I don't know if you are. Just, Garcia, hello. Uh, I was talking with Gerdo today, and uh, he is going to be uh, streaming on Wednesdays right after me. So um, noon to 2, I will go, and then we'll send you guys over to see Gerdo at uh, 2 to 4 or whatever. You know, whatever his, uh, you know, uh, however long he goes, whatever he's got going on. So uh, that's cool, because today you got Coral right after me. And now on Wednesdays, we've got somebody as well. So we're filling in, uh, filling in that time. You know, Kevin, I, I actually thought that um, uh, there was been a couple of decent quarterbacks. McMahon was a fun quarterback, and he was what they needed for the time. Uh, not a great quarterback, but I thought that, uh, oh, God, what's his name? We got him from Denver. Uh, smoked the cigarettes. Always, everybody said he had a poor attitude. He, be, he didn't really. And there's my oldest son. Hi, Anthony. It's good to see you, buddy. What's going on? <laughs> I totally am. I actually, that was a piece of shit drunk. <laughs> Nathan. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I do remember you saying stuff about the family and everything. So hopefully my son doesn't feel the same way about his. Thank you, Kevin. I could not remember his name. Yeah, Jay Cutler. I thought, I thought Cutler just got a bad rap in Chicago. You know, we had a horrible offensive line. Um, you know, it just uh, a, a lot of it was put on his shoulders, and I think he was a better quarterback than uh, than he was given credit for. I really do. But I'm I'm always trying to see the good part of people. You know, I'm always trying to see the positive. I did not know that about George. What's he's in? The, is he all right? What's uh, he's in the hospital? He was in the hospital. Is he out now? Oh, he had his appendix removed. Yeah, talking about the Bears, plushy. So we got, you know, nothing really going on today. The name of the, the chat or the stream was um, was uh, Afternoon Delight Full because I thought we were going to have a couple of guests, but I, I got my, um, I got my uh, signals crossed on that. So um, we will be streaming tonight, though, because uh, tonight is Fox Ann's 
members only stream, but she goes at eight o'clock. So from seven to eight, we're going to do a stream. Um, not a focus on just, you know, just a hangout. What's up, John? Uh, in the midst of working 16.5 hours a day. Yuck. Yuck. Um, yeah, Triz, Trizmi Gaming is my oldest son, Anthony. And you guys, if you're members on the channel, you've met him because uh, he was in a members-only stream where I had um, um, I did one with my oldest son, with my daughter, and with my, my wife. My youngest son isn't going to do one, but uh, David, David will too. Um, at some point well he said he said maybe so you might get to meet david as well so hi leo what's up leo for president it looks nice it's a little bit um i don't know just overcast and sort of dreary but it's it's only 49 right now but it's supposed to hit 60 today so it's it's looking nice outside um this whole week is going to be uh decent and that might have been it on the snow. That might have been it on the snow. I did, Leo. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I did beat you to it. <laughs> um, uh, that might be it for the snow for us. Now, my son, he lives up around the lake where it's, it's actually a little bit colder and they get more snow than we do. So they might still get a little bit. Um, so, but I think we might be done with snow, which would be like the, the earliest time that I can remember the earliest time that uh, I can remember. Um, oh, okay, Nathan, with uh, George. That mulch is still looking on fire. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I messed with it yesterday. I messed with it yesterday. Um, the mulch a little bit, dug into it just to see how it looked in the middle. It's just soaked. Got to get it put out there. But it's, you know, I can't do physical stuff, and uh, I just don't have any help to um, to get it placed where it needs to go so um you know maybe little by little and now that it's starting to warm up a little bit again i'm i'm waiting for a couple of days in a row that are going to be nice and toasty and then uh i'll get the yard mode i still got to change the oil on the lawnmower get the battery charged up and all that kind of stuff uh have i ever kept shell dwellers or rock dwellers from lake tang no i have not kept the only cichlids i have ever kept at all well, angels when I was a kid, but uh, we're crebensis. I've never kept any other cichlids, any shell dwellers or rock dwellers, anything. Are they even crebe are they even cichlids? Shell dwellers? I could be wrong about that. Hi, Shemu. I now that I'm now I'm second guessing myself that the the shell dwellers, uh, shellies aren't uh, even cichlids. See, I I forget stuff. Uh, I've never kept uh, them at all though. Hi, MNC. Hello, sir. Um. MNC said 70 here yesterday, 31 today. See, just the, just the opposite for us. Okay, they are cichlids. Okay. Yeah, never kept any, um, any shell dwellers or anything. They do look pretty cool. I know a lot of people love them. Um, hi, Melvin. Uh, I know a lot of people love them. I just never have. And in fact, uh, I was talking about that on Saturday night. I think as my... Um, I think as my... Uh, as my, you know, because most of my um, my fish don't really breed. I'm not really breeding them. I'm not trying to breed them in any way. So as they start to age out, which is, you know, starting to happen with some of them, uh, I, I think I'm going to get more into live bears. Oh, yeah, I did, Shamu. I did. Uh, it was beautiful, too. It was. Uh, Shamu sent me a picture of one of his Denison barbs that was just beautiful. Um, when they get that green... Uh, that emerald green on the top. It is just amazing. They are probably, um, um, they are probably, uh, yeah, they're up there. They're, they're, they're my top two favorite fish. The Bozeman eye are right there too, I think, the rainbows, but um, man, those Denison barbs are just beautiful, uh, especially once they grow up. Once they once they get to that adult age and they're nice big fish and uh, they just got that beautiful color and they have so many colors on them too, you know it sort of reminds me of the '80s a little bit because there's some pink, you know. There's all kinds of different stuff. Who got it? Leo got it. Leo caught the royal blue tang. Um, we have 32 
32 of the fish right now and at the end of march we'll see where we sit i haven't been streaming a lot so i talked about adding some more of the fish but we might not uh i just want everybody to have a chance and then the people that are a lot quicker on the draw you can only catch it once right so once it's caught boom you're done you're you're so then 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 some the slower people <laughs> slower typing people have a chance as well uh, Shamu, I see the colors red, gold, and green on their bodies, and when their tarot pops on from the 80s. There's that pink, too, that they have uh, around the mouth. Mine have some pink. I'm, I think yours do. There's a little bit of pink around the mouth, and I can only win on the loser wheel, too. <laughs> and Fox Hands only caught one. So, you know, that's why I'm thinking about maybe even holding off adding any more for another month until a lot of people have caught them. I just, I don't know. Make it a little bit more fair. But I guess, you know what? I don't know. I don't know. Because if I only add, like, let's say I add 10 of them, then it's still only 10 new ones. You've already caught the other 30, so the chances for other people are still good to get those. Um, I don't know. We'll look at it. We'll figure it out. Wally's going to bark. He hates, he hates that white truck. See that white truck turning around? He absolutely hates that white truck. I was taking him for a walk early and the guy went by. He's just been driving all over the neighborhood all day. And um, Wally just went crazy. He hates that. Listen, let's see if we hear him. Huh. No barky barks. Huh. That's weird. I did give uh, Wally a bone. We buy the frozen uh, beef bones um, for them that are they're not cooked or anything, so they're they're you know they're good for them, and uh, so he might just be busy with that because it takes him hours of doing that. Oh hey, Eric Eric Wyrock, are you still here, dude? I don't know what's going on, but uh, I have seen so many bluebirds this year, more than I've ever ever had before. Uh, there's never been this many bluebirds here. Like my neighbor that has the, the, vi the winery next door or across in our neighborhood, he's not next door. Um, she says she sees them all the time and she's got the homes for them and stuff. Uh, I have not seen this many. I have seen just a ton of bluebirds and I, I don't know what's going on. It's weird. I'm happy though. I'm happy. Maybe there's something happening with the starlings finally and the fast fingers <laughs> will catch all 10 new ones in one stream. <laughs> Yeah, maybe then they'll be done. <clears throat> Shady Grady, you don't have to catch a fish to be entered. It's just uh, you get points. You get a 1,000 points, a 1,000 pellets by catching the fish. So it's just a fun thing to do, um, you know, for the monthly things. You know, we've got, uh, we've got this leaderboard going on. Oh, I didn't mean to hit that twice. Myrtle, obviously, is uh, way out in the front. Um, but, you know, whoever... Whoever gets the most pellets, it's um, each each month uh, gets twenty five. Um, get get some of my merch, like a shirt, twenty five dollars from Amazon, basically for my merch, and uh, then they also get like they get to choose a filter for me to use and a sound effect when they come into the um, into the stream. So it's just a bunch of little stuff. It's nothing major. It's just a fun little game. Shamu, thanks for being here, though. Uh, I'm about to build some bird boxes on our property. I had a bunch out there, but the one tree, we used to have a, um, shit. Uh, on the very left over there, there used to be a hemlock tree and we had on, on there. And then I had one on that ash tree too, but it just, uh, it was on there for a few years and, um, uh, the bluebird is an actual bird. Yes. The bluebird. Yep. Yep, not a blue jay. Nope, blue jays we see all the time, and they're related to ravens and crows. Uh, they're they're cool birds, but I, I their sound so metallic and angry, and they're sort of they're sort of jerks. Blue jays, blue jays are sort of jerks, but they're cool. I mean, I like to see them, but they're <laughs> they're sort of jerk birds. But the bluebirds, yeah, it's a smaller bird, um, usually very blue, maybe an orange breast. I'm so looking at one right now up in that tree. See, look, he's back again. That's what he's been doing all day. He's just been driving around. 
It's so weird. I know I'm I'm that neighbor. What's up, Geek Boy? Oh, MNC's getting the stitches out. Nice. Hopefully you're feeling all right. Um, that's what he's been doing all day is just driving back and forth. And I know I'm being the nosy neighbor, but uh, it just his truck is so loud that you can't help but notice it. Uh, I just wish he would uh, fix the muffler on it. I mean, I've had I've had vehicles like that too, where the muffler wasn't great. You know, <laughs> I've had you know, I've had those, but um, uh, I just uh, I don't know. You know, a lot of it's just because I don't care for the guy. He um he's also been like they heat their house with a wood, and he's been going right into the. Uh, state park and cutting down trees which is you know that's not not right um uh, th this is the guy that i i met and then the very first time i met him five different times he said uh i'm not a racist but <laughs> you know <laughs> yeah yeah you are if you have to if you have to quantify it like that i never said hi to jay hi jay I've had girlfriends like that where the muffler wasn't great. Uh, muffler. All right. Um, so what's going on? Uh, again, tonight we will stream a little bit. We're just gonna we're gonna do an hour. Anyone got the Powerball numbers? Oh, that is today, right? That's today. That the draw is tonight, right? Wow, Killer Kitty, dude. Thank you. It's pink. Is it always pink? I thought that, that one was no, it's the big that was red. Oh. Hopefully this voice you can understand. Hopefully this is a good voice. Um Bears and Cheese Fun. <laughs> Live Bears and Cheese Fun. <laughs> thank you, Killer Kitty. That's amazing. Wow. That is uh thank you. Thank you so much. That's um super, super helpful. Um Thank you. And speaking of cheese, I did get to go to a cheese store. So, uh, yeah, the New York wax melt. <laughs> yeah, I got a wax melt. That's the one I did. I wish you could see these again. Whip, what's up? Oh, you were already here. I wonder why this just came in now. You were already in there. Uh, I wish these came back. I got to work on making them so that they show good because there was the joke with the... Um, with the wax melt things. And that was, I made that for Zenny. <laughs> so New York wax melt, because it's one of these, you know, glass with the light bulb in it that's meant for the, to, to melt the wax, but I put fire on it. <laughs> so it was the New York, you know, cause it was super hot. So it's got a big, <laughs> instead of a light bulb, it's just fire. <laughs> you can't even hardly see it though. So it's, it sucks. So it was a joke for, for my good friend, Zen Ginger. Um, and Zenny uh, sent me a thing, which I know she talked to a lot of you guys about too, but uh, um, she uh, um, bought a star for Myrtle. And I thought that was pretty amazing. I'm going to have to get out the, um, um, the telescope and see if I can find it, maybe even take a picture of it. I thought that was pretty neat. You know? Um geez oh yeah that's what i was saying so michelle had a health incident last week and she's fine she's back to work and stuff we don't even know what was going on exactly um i mean she was they they made her sit in a wheelchair and stuff and she had to wear a halter monitor um not a halter top halter monitor uh they did some a bunch of blood work and everything came back fine and but she was dizzy and she couldn't hardly sit up and just all kinds of stuff so and her blood pressure was was being all wacky too so but she's fine she's fine she's back to work she's feeling today she said she's she's just tired but she feels back to herself so nope it's it's over and done with so good but while we were out doing all this stuff i took her to the to, to the doctor and we had to go to the hospital to get the thing uh, put on her the halter monitor and um uh which I was going to take a picture of it and send to Fox Ann because she was just wearing one too, but they were different ones. I was going to say, hey, look, Halter twins, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, 
but while we were out doing that, I we talked about the cheese store, and she was she felt up to it, so we stopped at uh, the cheese store, and oh my god, they, they have the cheese tasting it costs like 750 so i splurged and spent seven dollars and 50 cents to try like 13 different cheeses and oh my god they're so good they've got you know they do a lot of mixes like um um uh god i'm, I'm drawing a blank now just they mix a lot of different cheeses together and it's all you know it's all made right there they uh it's the same place i talked about last year where they actually do concerts and stuff too and one of the local bands that i really like was going to be there but they had to cancel because they had a death in the family but um uh I, they will be coming back there so i'll be going there to the cheese store and listening to some good, good music they've got drinks and stuff you know different local beers and drinks and stuff um absolutely love it absolutely love it but the their cheeses were so so damn good so damn good um all right, where was that? We got the wax melt thing. Just in case no one's told you yet today, you're amazing to Killer Kitty. Yes. Yeah. Thank you again. No one ever qualifies with anything good. I'm not a racist. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, I believe everyone's racist. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I was from the Aqua Team Hunger Force. Yeah, I was one of those kind. I'm not a racist, but you sure park well. <laughs> Uh, shucks, Whip, it's just money. Nothing compared to happiness all you friends bring into my life. Oh, that is so... <laughs> uh, thank you, Holly. Thank you for that. And, you know, just thank you for all the support over the years, you know? I really do appreciate it. It means a lot. You, you guys have made my life a lot better. Um, Victor C., hello. Two Cooley said, Myrtle's tank pictures on my desktop background. So gorgeous. Oh, yep. Yep, that is, uh, that's a great idea. Steven says, I wish we could uh, see stars better around here. Um, I took a picture of Wally the other night in the full moon, and I used the, uh, the night setting on the phone, but in the distance you could see the stars still peeking out. It looked really cool. Um, and, and it used to be better. The guy who built... Um, that brown here we can i can that house that brown house right there how now brown pow brown pow brown cow um the guy who built that brown house <clears throat> also put in a street light <clears throat> or they put in a street light for him or whatever i don't know but there's a street light there now and there wasn't any street lights around us they were a good distance away that was the only one so before that one uh the light pollution at night was very very low that sort of ruined it um, but, um, it's still not bad. I mean, you still, a lot of nights you step outside and you see just a million stars, you know, it is beautiful. We're far enough away from most of the stuff that it, you know, it's not, it's not a, uh, oh, what are they called? The dark parks or whatever, you know, the, the certified areas where you can go and look. It's not like that, but it's, it's close. It's close. Has any bought a star like Chris Hemsworth or a B-lister? <laughs> um, it just jumped on me. I said hi to Victor, right? Okay, I got that. Uh, okay. Geek Boy said, got to see if my wife's astrophysicist nephew can give me a good view of it. Nice. Halter twins activated. <laughs> Form of? I need the fish gods to visit my tanks today. So, hold on, this thing just got... So the very special fish I got from Skull got ick all healed, but they also gave, gave birth and now 20 plus babies. Oh, gotcha. I already lost 59 plecos. Oh, sorry to hear that, man. And hopefully they do. Hopefully they do get through it pretty quick. Um, I did, uh, my Gudeans did have ick too when I first got them uh, or it came out and, you know, but I, I got through it and didn't lose any, luckily. Didn't lose any of them. So hope for the best for you too. Bipolar bit fish keeper. Hello. Still stuck working, so I'm lurking. Well, thanks for coming in. There's Jeff Kane too. What's up, Jeff? Hello, hello. Tomatillo. What's happening? How's Texas today? Barbara Jackson, hello. Hi, Barbara. Hope you're doing well. Can't wait to get the Myrtle towel. They shipped it already, so it should be a day or two I'm replacing my what the fish towel in the wall. Well, sorry, not sorry, Steven. <laughs> Still displaying it though. Um, 
good replacement. I have a Myrtle towel on the way too. Yeah, I, I wanted to do something, but we just, yeah. Um, I think I got everybody so far. What, um, what else is going on? Uh, there's no birthdays this week, although I did miss a couple of birthdays. Whose did I miss? I forgot. Oh, I got to go back and look. I felt bad. Oh, Maria Z. I missed Maria Z's birthday. I didn't even text her. I'm going to text her right now. How could I miss that? Maria. Maria, Maria. Trevor Gregory as well. I haven't seen Trevor in quite some time, though. He moved to, um, to Pennsylvania, and then we didn't see him again. He got lost in Pennsylvania. Geek Boy got a bunch of merch, too. Which one did you get, uh, Geek Boy? Didn't you get, like, the desk mat? I you remember you said it, but I can't remember which ones you said you got. Foxanne said, uh, late response, but glad Michelle's okay. Monitors are not fun. I probably have to redo mine because I, all oh, got bad skin reaction. It was all emotional all week. Should be an interesting read. Yeah, she had a different type, too. Like, you had the one that was... Um, that was just mostly self-contained. She had the one that had like a, uh, a little box that went on there and then she had the electrodes and stuff. So uh, if I may do a little product, product advertising, yep. There she is, Zanny. Oh wait, we gotta switch over. Hi Zanny. We were talking about the star thing earlier. Um, Fritz Fixix, Ick, Fix Ick, Fixix, Fixix. <laughs> it's absolutely amazing stuff. It says no visible ick within 48 hours. And it's true. This stuff hands down the best mat I've used. Um, I haven't tried. I've tried the, uh, you know, the, um, well, it's right there. That, the ick one, I forgot the name of it. And then I just tried one the other day because one of my Bozeman, I uh, actually had some, um, like a fungus. So I tried one that was supposed to do like that too. And it looks like it might have been a wound. And, um, I don't know. It, it just it doesn't look. It's it's a it's it's not ick. It's it's white. I should I need to take some pictures, um, and uh, put them on the Discord and see what people think it is. One of them. It's just one of them. And I'm just you know I don't want it to spread or anything. I don't know what it is. I, I, you know that other the big male in there is a little aggressive. So ick x. Thank you, J Rock. Yes, that's the one there. But I also have the other one, the purple one. Was that Fritz? I don't remember. It's it's right over here too. I just used it the other day. I don't remember what it was. <laughs> I I hear PA is full of trouble. Yes, it is. It, all the all the troublemakers live in PA. All of them, every single one of them. And uh, Zenny, even when you're not here, you're here. So, uh, Geek Boy got a shirt, a shirt, a towel, a puzzle, and a couple of dust mats. Nice. Barbara Jackson said I got a shirt and the mug with his planted tank. That is nice. I should order a puzzle. Uh, Nathan said, my birthday is in five days. Don't worry. My real dad never got me anything, so I won't be disappointed. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, I, you know, and that's sort of, it, it, you're, you're joking, obviously, uh, but um, it, it is something that bothers me a little bit that I can't, I'm not in a position to, and again, I know that you're joking, but um Oh, yeah, good question there. How are people ordering Myrtle merch? Can you guys drop the link for them? And hi, Lisa. Hope you're doing well. Um, I'm just not in a place to be able to do stuff for people, and, and people do stuff for me, and man, that makes me feel guilty. I've even asked some people not to do stuff, and, and they don't listen because they're assholes. You know? <laughs> they still send me stuff. You know who you are. <laughs> I, I specifically said, you know, hey, this year, you guys do it every year. This year, maybe maybe don't, and they still do. Because I feel guilty that I can't uh, give back. And I know that nobody's doing it because they, so that you'll buy them a gift in return. I get that. It doesn't matter. I still feel guilty. I still want to do stuff. And there's not much I can do. I just can't. It's just not something within my realm, you know. that's uh, They're lovely assholes, though, yes. And speaking of assholes, the other day, there was a bunch of snow. And Wally and I went for a walk, and now Wally loves to play in the snow. We play a game where I kick snow on him, and he does his, you know, thing and hops around and stuff, and he just, it's, it's a lot of fun. But um, 
<laughs> he was he turned around to run for me and I kicked snow. It, it was just out of the video just a little bit. You couldn't really see it, but the snow hit him right in his little butt. <laughs> he tucked he like his his front paws were all the way up where his you know, he totally it it surprised the hell out. He didn't let out a noise or anything, but uh it, it just he, he's like folded up. You know that that snow hit him right there and was cold. Uh, it made me laugh so hard, <laughs> poor guy. And it it sucked because the video was just. A, I tried to slow it down even, and I I was laughing, so I was like, ho ho ho! I totally sounded like Santa Claus. Skipper, I thought you were at, were at work, Skip. Skipper's gonna stream with me tonight with Ed too. Uh, I thought you were at work, brother. Um, it was so funny though. I just it just killed me just uh, watching him. You know. Get that, get that snow uh, right in the balloon knot. I believe the purple is Fritz. Yeah, okay, I know mine is purple. I think you, I thought it was Fritz. I was going to say also it turns a tank of cool purple over that blue. So far, no dyed silicone. Yeah, same here. Same here. Uh, I have a Myrtle sweatshirt coming, Lisa said. Nice. I, I love that you guys are all doing that. That's amazing. And thank you, Stephen. And did somebody else drop it too? Because he said, I'm slow. Yeah, Geek Boy, Zenny, everybody got the link. Thank you, guys. Um, totally expect gifts in return for gifts. Some of you people are on a watch list. <laughs> Maybe people are building up good Rico karma for when Rico becomes a rich YouTube celebrity. Yeah, well, that's, you know, <laughs> never going to happen. We're on the way down already. We're already, I've already peaked. I've already peaked. I'm on the way down. <laughs> Oinky, I'm on my way to grand jury duty. I'm thrilled. And it's, I, really? Yuck. <laughs> but, but have fun. Have fun. I had to get stuff for Sunday. Oh, Skipper said. Uh, see you, Jeff. We'll see you later. Thanks for dropping in. I'm at the bottom of the chat. I hate the bottom of the chat. Bottom of the chat. Um... Let's see, anything new in the fish room? Not really. Um, trying to think, yeah, I talked about the Bozeman eye that had some kind of like, it, like it, it looks almost like a fungus. Uh, and uh, he did have a little bit of something there, like a wound. So um, working on that, it's only one of them. Godayads are doing great still. Tons of fry just constantly, constant. Oh, so many. Um, they're doing really good. Not even close to doing anything outside. The pond area looks horrible. It just looks horrible. The pond just looks... It's going to take a lot of work uh, to get it looking decent this year. Um, one of these years, I'm going to expand on it, too. I'm going to take a, a page out of Matt's book. Matt made a... Um, he had like a tiered system where he just drilled uh, through the side of one of the ponds, one of the tubs, and, you know, uh, put in a pipe uh, to, to go to a lower tub. And the way the property is sloped, that's really easy for us to do. So I need to get out there and just do it. Um, I just need to do that. Ecto cooler. I don't know what an ecto cooler is. Shady Grady said, I'm collecting so much channel merch, I can change shirts every hour during the clash. Nice. So you're for sure going, Shady Grady? We're going to get to meet you? That's awesome. You sure you want to use anything Matt does as an example? As long as I'm not on ladders or putting laptops next to stuff. Um, if I haven't seen my palm build, uh, I had a three-tier at my last house. I, we currently have sort of like a three-tier, but the top is just the, you know, where the pump comes in. I forgot what it's called. The... Um, Whatever. You know, it's only like this wide. The water comes in and flows in to the top section, and then it flows down to this next section. It's not really three, and it's only a 70-gallon pond, all, to, all told. But I want to dig out like a big section, like a, maybe a four-foot by five-foot section for the next level. Maybe make it, you know, maybe, I don't know, three-foot deep. I don't know. I want to do that for the next... Um, the next section. If it comes to pond samples, go for Kelly's. Kelly does know what she's doing with the ponds, man. They always, the way she does it. I will take a look, J-Rock. 
which piece of Myrtle merch best represents Myrtle? Who's buying what? I have a shirt that says music and fish in my cart, but is there something that most people are buying? Well, let me scroll back up and we'll go back and look at it. See, I hate how this doesn't work anymore. I don't know what happened there. I'm going to mess with it. Maybe. Someday. Probably not. I'm lying. I'll probably never fix it. I'm just not motivated to do it, so it works well enough. So here's all the different stuff for Myrtle. That tumbler is pretty cool. The desk mats. Puzzles. I think the puzzle would be pretty neat. Um, sort by, let's just sort by, oh, that's everything though. All products. Let's make sure we've got all products. Yeah, okay. I thought so, but I just want to make sure. You know, the, I'm not a big fan of these smaller coffee mugs, but I, I mean, I would like it just to s display. I wouldn't actually probably drink out of it. But we've talked about that before. I like a big mug. You know, I like big jugs. That's all I'm going to say. I like big jugs. Um, I, you know, plenty to drink out of. Uh, but that tumbler is pretty neat right there. This is pretty cool. Look at that. Oh, man. He, he chose a great picture. <laughs> That's a weird picture, sort of. You know, showing it. It's, hey, look, it can spill. You know, what's, what's the deal with that? There's water all over the place. Look at how good it spills. That's what that says to me. That's sort of a weird choice that they used for that, you know, the design of that. <laughs> yeah, the lid's off. It spills amazingly. No, you know, no tumbler spills better than this one. So that one's pretty cool. And of course, the uh, sweatshirt. I think I think those would be my favorites. The tumbler, the sweatshirt, and the puzzle. Those would be my favorites. Uh, whip. And I know people are buying all kinds of different stuff, though. All right, I gotta scroll back down. Um. Shady Grady's doing the Aquascaping contest, too. Nice. Can't wait to meet everyone that weekend. Well, back at you. That's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, it really is. This will be my fourth year going to the Clash, um, and I've just I've had a blast. And uh, um, we're going to miss a few people this year that aren't going to be going uh, for different reasons, um, well-qualified reasons, I guess I should say, but it's still going to be a lot of fun. Uh, I'm just going to miss those people that um, that aren't going to be there. And you know who you are, you piece of shit. <laughs> uh, we dug the ground and used the dirt for raising the ground for the stock tubs higher. See, I, I'm already going to leave what I've got in place and just dig the ground down because, it, again, it's a, such a slope that it, it's perfect. The edge of my the lowest current one will be well high enough above the uh, the next level of it. Anthony's fishy friends and brother Dan. What's up, gentlemen? It's good to see you. I resent that. <laughs> you know I love you, Skipper. 26, 23, 36. I said 26. I think anything full of plants is totally myrtle, and that's why we went the towel. Yeah. Where is the towel? Where's the towel? Scenic towel. I, I was. I didn't see this. Wow, that is pretty damn cool. How big is this? Fish tanks are wet. You need a towel. There we go. Sixteen by twenty-eight. Yeah, that is pretty cool too. 
No Myrtle tie collection. Yeah, that's what Steven said too, right? There's no suit and tie option on Printify, unfortunately. Yeah, the tie would have been perfect. The tie would have said uh, Myrtle more than anything else, I think. More than anything else, the tie would have been the Myrtle thing. Like, uh, I, I don't have an occasion to wear ties anymore. Um, even if I went to something where you would normally wear a tie, I probably won't. I probably wear flip flops and cargo shorts because you know that's where I'm at in my life. But maybe I'd wear uh, you know a t-shirt and have a tie. <laughs> uh, Jay is getting the the scenic 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 desk mat scenic. Hopefully Myrtle merch never disappears. We can get it later down the road. Yeah. Um, that's a good point. Uh, you know, maybe um, um, I don't know. Maybe somebody that, that has talked to his parents can mention that or something, and, and see, um, you know, I don't know. I don't know. What the heck is a desk mat? Mouse pad. It's just a big ass mouse pad. Not a big ass. Mouse pad. They have those too. Just a big mouse pad. That's what it is. I have two of them. Oh, I still got this up here. Let's. let's. I have two of them because my desk, my desk goes from over here to well over there. I can't even reach the end of it. And uh, right here, I have a Deadpool one that my oldest son got me. And then right here is just a just a regular one. And it's been here so long, it's like stuck to the top of the glass table because it's just it's been here for years it, i've never moved it in all the years so it's like stuck when i take it off all that foam on the bottom is probably just going to peel right off i'm gonna have to scrape the table because uh, it's you know like i said it's glass uh, it hasn't gotten wet or anything like that obviously but it's just it's been on there forever and i sit at this desk all day long working so um let's see what uh okay um Better, better keep an eye on your coffee. Yeah. <laughs> Should buy a Myrtle tie as a fundraiser for his family. What cargo shorts do I like? I don't even know brands, Anthony. Uh, I, I do wear cargo shorts, but I, I couldn't tell you brands. A lot of times I don't even buy them myself. Michelle will buy them for me. She'll, uh, she just brings home some shorts that she thinks I like, and I wear them because I'm not picky. I have all kinds of just – I mean, I wear shorts – in another probably about another month i'll start wearing shorts all the time i still this time of the year it's pajama pants like i have these <laughs> that fucking hurt that's my bad hip and my bad knee um i wear pajama pants 24 7 this time of year and then uh, even when i leave the house a lot of times we went to the chinese buffet and i had pajama pants on i don't i don't care and um then it it's all shorts the rest of the time uh dave what's up canistillo good to see you my friend hope you're doing well i know that you've been very busy uh and thank you for the the email and stuff and the other people too the other, everybody else that said sent messages and emails and things uh thank you very much um i would love to redo the, my pond at this house i just don't have access to materials like i did in denver I just don't have the uh, ability to do a lot of physical labor. Um, that's my biggest problem. And I can't afford to have somebody come do it. That's why I still have three piles of mulch out there that have been sitting there for months um, that need to be spread. Uh, but I do, um, I got to get the pond at least straightened back up. I might not put fish in it this year. Uh, I might just... Um, I don't know. I might just go let it be a frog pond this year. I, I haven't decided yet. Uh, Steven said, I also ordered 200 stickers of Myrtle's, Myrtle's logo, Myrtle's logo that Annette had recently made for him. They will go to anyone who requests them once we have that set up on FFL. Nice. Thank you. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Big ass mouse pads. I don't know. I didn't know Matt had those in his words. You're just all over Matt. Uh, jammy pants are the bestest. Hi, not little Jane. They have pockets. Yes. 
uh, Shaka wear cargo shorts. I just buy them on Amazon. Yeah, I um basketball shorts. I have a couple of those. Yeah, yeah. Uh, not too many though. Elfish, what's happening? Hello, how is Pennsylvania today? I was talking bad about Pennsylvania earlier. Um, pond building party. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, can you do a little bit each day so you get it? Yeah, that's what I'll have to do, but it's a tiny little bit. In a lot of days, I can't do anything. Can't can't do anything at all. You know, it is what it is. That's, I'm not going to whine about it. Um, but um, we'll get it. Uh, um, we'll get it sorted out. Oh, I don't want any more guppies. Whip. I have so so many guppies still. I mean, I still have two big tanks filled with guppies. So um, I do. Uh, that's I, if I do put those out. I'll put guppies out in the in the tub too. I have uh, a good sized tub. I have a couple of tubs. There's one that's only like 17 gallons, and the other one's like 70. Um, so I'll probably I'll probably put guppies in both of those. I want to buy some shrimp um, too and uh, do shrimp outside this year nobody wants these things <laughs> bring them to oh if you're coming to the clash and you can bring them bring them to the clash and give away that's what i do that's the only reason i i keep the guppies is to give them away because the uh give a kid a tank thing um you know you can give a bunch of those guppies away for so that kids take take home uh some guppies um although the the tanks aren't you know cycled so but they they want to send fish home with the kids too so they give them the kids everything they need to get that first 10 gallon all set up they, they teach them how to set it up and then they uh you know they talk about all the different stuff and all the how you're supposed to do things it's a it's a really cool program um give a tank a kid <laughs> yeah i mean if they'll fit if they'll fit right <laughs> barbara jackson got the bumpy head <laughs> the bumpy head <laughs> got to watch what road you're on i guess <laughs> sorry that was that was inappropriate <sighs> you know what hold on i'm gonna open this window up it's starting to get warm i don't know why it's not that yeah, it's only 70 it's 70 degrees in my office and i'm like oh what the i mean this this shirt's a little thick this thing is probably older than some of you guys. Well, maybe not the daytime people, but uh, this thing, I've had this thing. Actually, if you ever looked at my LinkedIn, I'm wearing this shirt at work back then. <laughs> That's how long ago it is. It's warm because all the wax melts. Yes, it is putting off some heat. Woof. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a nice breeze coming in. The Clash is giving away kids. Zenny's buying celebrities. This world is taking a left-hand turn. <laughs> Oh, let me click some buttons over here. Sexy lady. That's what it said on this thing. It was just a, a video and no, I'm not watching porn. I do some uh, content uh, categorization for social media. So I have to look at stuff uh, from different social, social media platforms and categorize it in different ways. Um, I mean, it pays. It's it's minimum wage, but I can sit here and do it, and uh, it helps out. It helps out quite a bit. Sometimes it'll be, uh, sometimes it'll be, um, you know, an extra thousand dollars a month, and, and that pays bills. Uh, this content is indeed porn. Actually, sometimes. <laughs> Did you just say you are forty-five? Me? Oh God, no. Oh. Oh, Zenny, yeah. I was going to say, no, I haven't been 45 in a while. <laughs> uh, sometimes it is porn, and then you have to mark that as such because they, you know, um, most of it is not, though. Most of it is just regular content. <laughs> content categorization is the best excuse I heard. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And hi, Matt. I was wondering where you were. Hi there, sir. He doesn't watch. He just categorize it. <laughs> Once in a while, though, you have to, um, it is porn, and you have to mark it and say, uh, you can't actually categorize it because it is. I, it's amazing to me because sometimes that'll be on, you know, the worst social platform. Well, no, he can't say that anymore after Elon destroyed Twitter. Um, uh, I don't know. I can't. I, I shouldn't be talking about it. There is an NDA. I, I it, uh, 
it's a job <laughs> there we go <laughs> there we go uh 70 is cold to me anyways when it's 70 here i'm in full sweatpants and sweater with a winter hat well it's only 52 outside and i have the window open and it's a great breeze you can see once every once in a while the stuff is moving around and the windows only open like you know that much because the because the storm window is not open that far so it doesn't matter if i open up the window any farther the storm the outside window is only open that much what's up surf city definitely has a particular set of skills you know that was one of my favorite joke jokes and nobody got it nobody got it i told this before but i was it was the most disappointing it was the best dad joke i think ever so uh it was on facebook and my friend sean posted a picture he said everybody sees uh jesus it was in clouds and in, in these clouds everybody sees jesus but i see liam neeson and i said he has a particulate set of skills because the clouds are made of particulates and uh i didn't uh, nothing i didn't not, not even a chuckle Particulate set of skills instead of particular set of skills. Whip says, I think Twitter destroyed Twitter a lot. No, no, Whip. Uh, Twitter was pretty good. I mean, I've used it for a long time, and then Elon got a hold of it and destroyed it. Just absolutely destroyed it in every sense. I mean, look at how much it's worth now. I mean, it was worth a ton. <laughs> and then he bought it, and uh, now it's worth like, what, 10% of what it was worth? before he bought it paul mccarthy what's up paul hello sir thank you again for your email too <laughs> take science joke is too highbrow for facebook particulate set of skills bananas purple purple burglar alarm purple burglar alarm uh, he gets paid to categorize porn. Now porn categorizes. <laughs> makes so much sense to me. <laughs> There's not that much porn. I mean, it's like maybe 1%. Most of it is just stupid videos. It's stupid videos. Like uh, there's this thing called Rick Lax. Um, Rick Lax Productions. R uh, L A X. Rick Lax. And. Um, uh, they're just so dumb that they, they, they make up these scenarios where like a cop arrests a, a woman and just the actors are so stupid. And it's just, there's no, there's nothing good about it. There's nothing positive. It's not funny. It's just the people are just, I mean, you can, it's so stilted and the, you know, they don't have actors. They just have these people and it's just, I don't know. I, I absolutely hate looking at those Dave Farrell. I was thinking about you guys the other day, Dave, hope you're all doing well. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't make it in Sunday. I meant to stop in and to at least say hi. I haven't been, I haven't been into one of you, uh, one of uh, Brianne's um, streams in forever, and I wanted to at least stop in and say hi. Hopefully tomorrow I can. But uh, hopefully you guys are doing well, and it's uh, it's starting to warm up over there. I saw you guys got a lot more snow than we did on this side because they live on the other side of the Adirondacks horse from us. And again, I've said this so many times, but they live in such a beautiful area. It's one of my favorite areas in the United States. It really is. It's just beautiful. Beautiful. <coughs> just some Joe on the street. Yeah, that's you, Whip. You're just some Joe. Is it a skit that's supposed to teach an obvious lesson? Like, no, Stephen, no. And I don't even care for those ones that much. You know, those ones are okay, but um, those ones have a lesson. But these ones aren't, they don't have any... There's no redeeming value of these ones. They really, they, they're just horrible. Like, they're just, I don't know. It's like, um, I don't, it's just it's just bad. If you ever see something from Rick Lax Productions, you'll see what I mean. Just garbage, pure garbage. And, and it's amazing to me that, uh, that people watch them. And, and I mean, they even put a disclaimer on it that it's a skit. And there's no lesson to be learned from it. It's just dumb. Hey, I didn't tell you you could shut. The window slid down. Oh. Who got it? Um. 
Oh, they're still, it's still, they're still trying to catch it. Who is it? Is it Barbara Jackson going to get it? <laughs> Why didn't it catch Barbara? It skipped over Barbara on that. Maybe, oh, because chronologically it looks different for everybody. Nobody's, nobody's catching this one. Sorry, I'm, I'm just watching. Snatch. <laughs> now it's just not even working. There we go. Shady Grady. Digging a septic tank. <laughs> Yuck. I'm glad we won't have to do that. Our septic's in pretty damn good shape, luckily. They, uh, they had replaced it right before we bought the house, so it's all... There we go. Congrats, Shady Grady. You got it. And again, all you get is a is some points. No, some pellets. Some pellets. And everybody's been given theirs to uh to Myrtle. Which I don't know what we do with that. You know, I, I still got I want to come up with a command, but I don't know what. I was thinking about it the other day. I, I really don't want to have his face pop up. You know, I thought about that. I don't want to <laughs> that's that's going to be it, it, it you know maybe six months from now i don't know that's always just gonna but uh maybe like uh just a few notes of baby shark or something i i don't know um <laughs> dave's work ethic pisses me off i turned on my computer monitor this morning end of chores <laughs> uh -huh. I don't want to think about my septic the previous owner let the drain field get covered in trees yeah our leech bed is uh is right there um you see the shadow of the tree that's the leech bed the shadow so starting it's about halfway in the yard over towards that ugly trailer away over on the very left there if you can see that um maybe a just what an audio clip of one of his songs um Can we make Myrtle the permanent first place? I could probably do something like that so that his name is is always. Um, I hate that that has to be reset every time. Maybe I could probably just automatically give him the points. I don't know. I have to work on that. Hi, Mark. What's up, dude? What do you guys? If you guys got any ideas, though, um, what we can do you know um i was plowing snow and the loader went through the lid oh no <laughs> so shit <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh no that's not good um uh daniel you can do this command <laughs> and i didn't even click in the type to see all the commands available but um There's all your different ones. So for pellets specifically, you want that one. Yeah, some type of memorial object. I mean, I do have... Uh, oh, damn it. Right here, I have a CD of him, but um, one of his CDs. Um, crazy tie of some kind, like a Myrtle Command. Hmm. Maybe a filter? Maybe a filter. Uh, wouldn't be that, but I wonder if I could find a, like a shark filter or something. Um, I, yeah, I wonder if there is a shark filter that I could use with what I currently have. I don't want to get something totally new. Um, let's, uh, let's look here. Okay, so this is the other camera. This is the filter one. Look at it. It does weird stuff. Look how white I look in my eyes. Um, Oh, Jesus, what the hell's going on there? That's supposed to be a shark, but that's like way zoomed in. What the hell? 
These are all way zoomed in. What happened? All right, hold on. Let's get rid of that. Let me, why is that so zoomed in? I can't, um, somehow it changed. Somehow the uh, settings on that changed. Huh. Let's, let's try this. No, that did not do anything. Sorry, bear with me. That's not what I want. This, this. Oh yeah, it's it's all messed up. It's all messed up. Hold on, I don't know what happened to it. It's like way off the reservation. Okay, let's um <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, the camera's doing, that camera's doing weird stuff. I don't know why it, um, why it's, all right, I'll have to mess with it later. <laughs> See, that's working. It's just a couple of them are messed up, I guess. <laughs> that's sort of weird. <laughs> I don't know, that might be, that might be an option. Mm. I I prefer oh here we go. How about this one? I don't know. I just search for sharks. Shark tank. There we go. How about that one? What about that one? You think that's a good one? I'm going to save that one. Maybe that's the one we use. But it's not a baby shark. And, you know, he, he, he hated baby shark, but... Oh, here we go. Oh, damn. If this... Look, <laughs> that's baby shark. If it was, you know... If, um... Maybe plants? I don't know what kind of plants they'd have. <coughs> that one doesn't do anything. A baby shark would be awesome. No! Stop! Help! Ah! I sort of like that one, too. <laughs> We're going to keep that one. <laughs> Some of these are good. Eh. Maybe let me uh, let me search for baby shark too. <clears throat> but do you guys think you know because he he didn't like baby shark, but it was a fun thing. All right. Um. Do you, so maybe do you think baby shark would be good? Um, I will look for plant and see if there's anything for plants. Eggplant, most of it's eggplant. Plant baby. <laughs> That's dumb. <laughs> what the? <laughs> <coughs> Sorry. Oh. Oh. Almost every one of them is eggplant when I search for plants.
Plant. <laughs> what the? Plant. What the hell is that? That is just. <laughs> All right, I'm done. Oh, that's actually a cool background, though. I sort of like that background. That's pretty cool. I really do want a fiddly fig. I used to have one. I love fiddly figs. All right, I'm done. Let's get let's get out of here. Um, music, yeah. Small snap snapshot. So, uh, the one that can give you a tie, probably. That's a good one too, Matt. Tie fighter, tie die. Well, okay, I'll look at them later. Um, so I think I think some of the music somehow we'll figure that out. Maybe maybe the music. <clears throat> maybe I do. I maybe I find some of his music. Oh, now now I messed this up. That's why you shouldn't mess with stuff. Um, maybe uh, the music becomes hi Sal becomes instead of letting uh instead of making up a new thing every time for people coming in whoever wins that month uh will use some of his music for that um i like that idea of, of getting his music um involved with it uh and zenny says he loved the camaraderie that came with baby shark being thrust upon him though trust me yeah yeah you know when people know I get that. I get that. I think it's the same for me. It's not exactly the same, but um, that was my nickname in college. You know, uh, that's that's taken on a life of its own. And I feel that sort of that was the same way with Myrtle and Baby Shark, that everybody knew that that was something about Myrtle. Everybody knew that there was something, you know, Baby Shark and Myrtle went together, even though <laughs> he, he, he did not like it. <coughs> It still meant people knew about him. It still meant that people thought about him. So I think that's uh, I think that's why. Hi J N N. Hello, Mrs. Plumber's Tub. Have a great day. Thanks for being here. I didn't know you were here. I'm sorry that I missed you. And hello, Baby Shark was your nickname in college. Hey, <laughs> Big Steve. <laughs> sorry, that's uh. Oh. Oh, sorry. Um, mine was baby carrot. <laughs> you went to the uh, the tanning booth <laughs> naked. Did Coro set up his stream? I haven't seen Coro yet today. I don't see his stream. I was gonna set it up for um for uh um to send you guys right over. And again, just want to remind you, um, Girdo. Garcia Aquatics is changing his Sunday stream. He's not going to stream on Sundays anymore. He's going to be doing on Wednesday afternoons right after me. So we'll send you guys over on those Wednesdays that I go. He'll be going at 2 o'clock right after me, 2 to 4 or whatever. So um, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, if I can get back into a regular cycle, Tuesdays and Wednesdays, you've got four hours of streams. So uh, that... That'll be nice. That'll be nice. Hi, Rachel. Sent you a picture of Jabberjaw playing the drums. You can Photoshop a tie onto it, maybe even put him in a field of Jungle Val or whatever his favorite plan is. Um, I say I can't do those with filters. Um, I've got to use the software that's there, but maybe there's something else I can do with it. That cup reminds me of the guy that made a five-gallon Stanley, then a 55-gallon mess with his wife. She always had the biggest cup. Yeah, I've seen that one. <laughs> that is funny. The five-gallon was just like a white bucket, <laughs> and he was carrying Yeah. <laughs> Nathan, that is funny. My daughter bought me this. It's 52 ounces. 
and I'll drink two, maybe three of them a day. Um, try to stay, uh, you know, hydrated and try, I, especially with um, the, the, the stuff, I just have to, yeah, I have to drink a lot of water. <laughs> okay. It's only one o'clock. We've been going for an hour and that's it. So I uh, don't know what else to talk about. Um, makes me got to pee when you drink that much. And Fridays. What's, what's on Fridays? Oh, f Friday all day. Yeah, Friday is all day. Friday is all day long. Um, because you got Fox and it starts it off in the morning. You got whip, you got John. You, I mean, it's just all day long. Friday is filled in. Yeah. Bottom spank <laughs> with the top rank. <laughs> you make it a poem. I like where it's going. I like where your poem is going. Um, but yeah, what do we do for Myrtle with this? I just don't know because do I put the second place person, you know, do I, do I count the second place person as the winner and then just try to always leave Myrtle's name on the top list somehow? I mean, that wouldn't be too hard because I have to each at the end of every month, I have to manually purge all the points. It's just a simple command, but I have to do it. So when I do that, I can also um, just give Myrtle, like like Steven said, yeah, like, you know, a billion, a bajillion points um, and have him be the top. That's how what the fish is going to be, I think. Yeah, that's a good way to do it. Maybe that's what I'll do. So Myrtle is always, his name is always there and he's always way at the top. Uh, Mark, what's up? Hi, Mark. Just got my Myrtle shirt and one of his mugs. Still waiting on another mug and the desk pads. Nice. I have a package coming today because I do uh, usability testing. And it's from that company, um, Opinions Limited. And uh, I have no idea what it is, though, because they haven't said that I was in anything. They haven't told me that I was okayed for any project that I got into, I, I do, I sign up for a lot of them and I get into a few. So I have no idea what's coming. It, uh, it could be beard care. It could be detergent. I have no idea what it is. So it's sort of fun. It'll be, it'll be here today. Uh, actually any time now, UPS will be dropping it off. Um, so I think, right. That's what we're going to do. I'm going to, so don't, so you guys don't worry about giving Myrtle, points anymore i will um i will pump that up the myrtle points actually i can do it right now i just got to remember what the total command is um and then that way if you want to give points you can give them to the the second place person uh nope not that what am i doing down here um here it is i got it closed that's why i couldn't see it uh, let's see. Let's see if I remember how to do this. If, because it, <coughs> excuse me. There we go. There we go. I mean, that's how simple it is. So from now on, don't worry about uh, don't worry about giving them to Myrtle, because uh, he's he'll always be at the top there. Um, so instead, you know, do go back to your normal how you guys you know sometimes you join up and give people points and stuff. So work at the second place person. Um, and I will always make sure that Myrtle is number one. He'll always be on the top spot. Let's, uh, that's what we'll do from now on. That's how we'll do it. Yeah. Cool. 
sorted something out. Uh, so you gave me uh, the wood that you gave me for my tank totally dissolved. Oh, that weird. That, that weird. That's weird. One piece about five inches was left, but everyone else just broke down into nothing. I'm so sorry. That sucks, man. It, it, um, you said that when it got to you, though, it broke up pretty quick, too. So maybe it just wasn't, you know, yeah, it just wasn't um, uh, a good piece to use anyways. And they do sit outside and bake for, for a few months. I think uh I think I think we're gonna quit. I just feel meh. Anything else we need to talk about? Anything else I wanna talk about? Anything else? No, I don't think so. There isn't going to be a lot of driftwood for the clash this year. We, we've got some. Michelle picked some up. I haven't done any collecting. And again, we had a really a, another. Um, uh, we had another very very warm winter. So when we don't get the ice build up on the shore, we don't get near enough. Um, uh, driftwood. You know that's that's how we get all that driftwood we um th there'll be 10 f 10 feet of ice on the shore you know and it, and it builds up little by little so the waves throw the ice up on there and then it builds up more ice on top of it so it all stays there right and then when the ice melts the wood is on the shore and that's when you go that's when you go and there's just a ton of it it covers the shore but when we don't have the the ice build up the waves take it back out and it's and it's gone so there will still be some but just not as much um <clears throat> her sticky hands are all over the rico wood um <laughs> climbing on rico's wood uh, um j-rock's going to be reviewing a teleprompter which one the um el gato el gato the cat is that the one that's that new one is pretty cool I, i've seen it but i thought about it and i was like well first of all it's expensive but what would i use it for because i don't do any script i don't do anything with a script nothing Ooh. oh no i thought that was ups instead it's guess who it is he's back <laughs> all day long just just Back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. They'll probably be there for five minutes and then leave again. Teleprompter could be good for reading chat. Yeah, I guess. Because if it was right here, then I'd look like I'd be looking at the camera. It'd be good for somebody like Ed. You know, because Ed has a really hard, Ed has a really hard time seeing the chat. Um, and getting it all set up because uh, he moves around to different places maybe once he gets his um his fish room back set up and he's got monitors set up and stuff he'll be able to read the chat a little bit better but uh it would be good for somebody like like yeah but i'm right here and the only thing is if it was up here it looked like i was looking at the, the the camera but uh i don't you know care that much about that part mark strilson what's up dude hope you're doing well uh how about give me an update mark how are you with everything going on um um how you know the cancer stuff how are you doing is everything still clear are you st everything still good you know lee lee venti not familiar with that one and i i'm not uh, a brand conscious person like i'll use any brand um ed said hello to himself in scotty's chat Yesterday, Ed said hello to himself in Scotty's chat. <laughs> that feels right. <laughs> Someone who narrates. Oh, yeah, for sure. Yep. Yeah. Anybody who uses a script, they would be good for. Yeah. Yeah. And most people do use uh, scripts, right? But even when I um, even when I make my videos, I don't make any scripts it's just i just say okay i know i want to talk about this and i just start talking and wherever it takes me that's where it takes me i usually just it's usually just one take 
and that's why there's always a lot of ums and things like that in there and i don't know i uh, i myself like the unscripted videos i do better with those watching other people's too when they're unscripted and feel more like we're having a conversation as opposed to somebody talking at me that's just me that's just me a lot of people script their videos and it makes sense because they've got certain points they want to get to and all that but um i'm stripping right now <laughs> okay what <laughs> okay hopefully you make a lot of money today uh i don't know how iowa is you know for that but uh i'm hoping that uh you you do well mark mark matt i saw mark right below yours uh still in the waiting period and if they need to do surgery gotcha okay okay well, keep me updated if you would, sir. I appreciate it. I didn't see you there for a while, and thank you for the email, too. Um, I know this is the middle of the night for you, and sometimes I don't remember that, you know? Um, okay. Maybe Mark is stripping, too. I mean, he does like to take his shirt off on stream. He does. He does. I don't feel like doing a reading today from the Book of Foreman. And I haven't seen Kelly today. I hope she's doing well. Um, I got nothing else to really talk about. I do have some... Uh, um, oh, God. Snart for Barf stuff uh, from Keith, KJE. I still do have a, a, one more meal from him um that maybe we'll do this week and then that's it that's i'm out of stuff for that so if anybody wants to send me weird or cool or whatever anybody wants to send things for the snarf for barf uh just shoot me an email up there <coughs> at the top of the screen let me know i'll give you my address everybody's got my address now i can't hide you can see how crappy my house is <laughs> all right i'm gonna go I, I feel like I'm just, uh, you know, stretching this out now. So I haven't seen Coro today. I don't know if Coro is going to go. Let's go look real quick and see if he's got a video yet. I've got his channel open, but I haven't seen him set one up. So he, maybe he's busy today and he's not going to do one. I don't know. But, I mean, we're still 45 minutes from that. So, um, yeah. It's one of the things like you do on the side, product placement stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Don't make me go watch trash reality TV. I have nothing to do today. Kids started back to school and are reading. It's so quiet. <laughs> I just feel like I don't have anything, you know, when it feels natural and I'm just talking, uh, that's fun. But then when I stop having stuff to talk about and I'm just looking for things, I feel like I just streaming for no reason, you know? <laughs> I, I did tar start taking Zoloft. Certaline. Cert oh, no, that's the, yeah, Certaline. And I'm also taking this Selecoxib. Selecoxib. Selec it's a pain reliever. So I have to take that twice a day. C-E-L-E-C-O-X-I-B. Selecox. Ib. Sell your coxib. Um, so I'm taking that and, uh, I haven't really seen a change with that. This, the, um, look, my hands even shaking. Um, what is this stuff called? The <laughs> Zoloft. The Zoloft it sort of makes me anxious. It's only been, um, so your cock saver. <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, it's only been, I think today's the fourth day since I started taking it. And I'm, you know, it, it, the Cymbalta I had to stop taking because it was doing some other physical things to me that wasn't good. Um, but uh, this stuff so far, it's just made me feel a little anxious. Uh, but, you know, I'm going to stick with it. Um, we, we're going to up the dose after two weeks and then after a month we'll uh, we'll check in but then we're going to also add well butrin to it as well so uh, those will be the two that i take and we'll see if that combination uh does well um 
I started taking Zoloft to help with my anxiety. Yeah, that's uh, that's what she uh, she wanted to, to see if it would work with the uh, bipolar stuff. And again, she doesn't know that I'm bipolar. I don't know. Is there a test for how do you test for that? I don't I have no idea, but uh, maybe there is a test. She just said uh, it sounds like it. So we're going to work on that and all that. Are my knees weak? Mom's spaghetti? What? My, my left knee is very weak. I really like Wellbutin, not many side effects. She didn't give me to me to start with because um, suicidal thoughts. Uh, Wellbutrin, um, Wellbutrin um, can have, can uh, make it so the suicidal, she, the way she described it was, um, it gives you more energy, and a lot of people that are super depressed and having super suicidal thoughts don't even have the energy to, to, to you know, to do it. And uh, sometimes the Wellbutrin gives them enough energy to do it, <laughs> uh, which sounds horrible. And uh, honestly, I, I, I've been there. I've been there. Uh, you know, I, I try to be honest about all this stuff because I know that there's a lot of other people out there going through things. I'm not alone. Um, but yeah, it's those, I've had those thoughts, you know, being, people being better off without me not being here. And, you know, I have plenty of friends. Don't, I'm not, I've never came up with a plan. I've never been that far, but, um, it's, it's definitely something that has, you know, and that's, that's what made me say, you know what? I need some help. I need some help. I, I'm, I'm not able to handle this by myself. I need some help and uh so that's why i reached out to the doctor you know to to help with this so this is the, our, this is our second um attempt the first the cymbalta just did not do good for me at all um and hopefully the the combination of the zoloft and the wellbutrin will will do good for me yeah and i i am not a, a smoker i haven't been a smoker in a long long time um Celexa and Clonopin and Seroquel. I had to stop the Seroquel because it made me feel really off and didn't regulate itself. Well, Brutrin is what gave me the shakes, but it kind of worked. Um, you know, uh, I need to find something to get my energy levels back up. Aging sucks. It does. It does. It does for sure. Um, having others talk so openly about their issues have made it easier for me to open up as well. And that's, you know, part of my... My goal is, because especially, don't take this wrong, especially men, we have a harder time talking about our mental health issues. We have a harder time getting help with our mental health issues. Uh, you know, women have plenty of, of worse things off. Believe me, I understand that. I, I get that. But um, with, with this one thing, there's a, just a, a stigmatism that, uh, a stigmatism? Um, to people, you know, to men talking about it. And, and it really shouldn't be because uh, knowing that you're not alone and that other people are having the issues, just like Geek Boy says, uh, it helps other people say, you know what, I, I'm, not, I'm not doing well. I'm not doing good. I do need help. And because a lot of the times it could be a chemical imbalance. It could be all kinds of things and, and you know reaching out to somebody and, and talking to your doctor is important you know the whole men don't cry bs really effed us up for all these years i agree i agree 100 percent. i agree uh we're supposed to lock down our emotions and you're you're feminine like that's an insult i don't think eh. anyways uh Certaline has been a big help for me. Don't don't run out or stop cold turkey though. Withdrawals are awful. See, I didn't think there. She said there was a problem with these. Now I know the Cymbalta, um, uh, there is very very bad. Like you could have seizures from that one. So I did have to wean off of that one. And I asked her about this one, and she said it's not near as bad though. But having said that, everybody's different, right? Because uh, I know Matt. Matt takes Cymbalta and it works great for him. It's done wonders for him. He said it changed his life. Sorry, Matt. I hope you don't mind me talking about that. Um, you know, so everybody's different, right? Not everything works for everybody. 
and 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 nobody we're, we're not all going to have the same effects it's just like it's like fish keeping it's like fish keeping there's so many variables your diet uh your makeup your genetic but there's so many variables we are fish tanks you know we're fish tanks and i'm just trying to um i'm trying to cycle so that my fish will live <laughs> better longer lives happier lives you know i'm trying to uh um I'm trying to get the right substrate and the right combination of plants and stuff in my head. That's what I'm doing. I, you know, I'm just trying to get my fish tank sorted out. Um, all that alpha male crap is, yeah, it's so dumb. There's a guy on TikTok that he's just like, I've, I've, I've dated Victoria Three Kids models. You know, he's just he, the guy is just a he's an idiot. I hate even seeing anything about it. He he said that. Uh, you don't have to accept um, rejection from women. You don't have to accept that. Y yeah, you do. <laughs> That's called rape. <laughs> you know, if you, you, you do, if somebody says no, you have to accept that. You don't have to uh, accept, accept rejection. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> it's just amazing to me. Um, there's a picture that describes this very well. It's in the hand of a man drowning a guy on land. High fives a guy and says, you got this. J-Rock, that, that is, that's, yep, that's a good one. Nathan, I was at that point once and actually went the next step, but I was found before it finished. Very dark time and drugs definitely played a huge role. Glad to say those days are over for me. And I, I'm happy too, because uh, you're my friend, Nathan, and I would hate for anything to happen to you, especially something like that. Barbara Jackson said, well, butin, well, butrin and Ritalin is the mix that works best for my ADHD and depression. So far, so good. I'm glad you find the combination. A very close friend of mine has a bipolar 2 and a bipolar, not as well, bipolar 2. And uh, he's gone through a lot of different medications, a lot of different ones, trying to find the one that uh, that fits him, you know. Sometimes it takes a long time to find the one that fits you. I never talked about it to anyone after that, but yeah, we all have struggles in life. I'm happy to be in a better place now and that my story wasn't meant to end that night. Is it because it's hard for men to talk about it? Or is it because we know no one gives a fuck? Well, people do give a fuck. So if you think that nobody gives a fuck, that's because that's where we've been. That's what we've been taught. But that's not true. People, it's harder for men to talk about it because... Uh, people look down on you and, and again a lot of people will look down, down on you and, and think you're not manly enough because you have those issues or or you cry or any of that kind of stuff you know um, yeah uh, people people do care not everybody not everybody I get you know not even most people but people do care um, I, there's there's you know yeah people people care Big Steve says, I'm a 10-gallon fish tank with a flower horn and Oscar and Piranha all trying to get out. <laughs> Rock placement matters, Zenny. So you're aquascaping your brain. Yes, pretty much. My brainscape is heavily CO2 injected and very low on oxygen. <laughs> Eric's back. Hi, Eric. Can't do the riddle and it makes me a zombie. I'm glad it's working for you. I rely on THC to level me out. I'd like to think there are a lot less people who look down on people nowadays. I think you're right. Um, I think you're right. I think that there is. I think that it's, you know, it's lessened. I think we still have a long ways to go, but I think, you know. What's up, Jesse? And depression can make you feel like no one gives a crap. Oh, for sure. For sure. I mean, no one cares is a mantra for me. I say it in my head quite often. Uh, and, but I know it's not true. I know I have, even in this community, I've got, you know, a few people that, that care about me that are my friends and, and, uh, you know, I've got my wife and kids. Well, my wife, I don't know if my kids even care at all, but, <laughs> uh, you know, I've got my wife who cares quite a bit about me. So, uh, I, you know, I know that people care about me. I know for a fact but then when I'm deep in that depression, I don't, uh, I don't know. I don't know it. And I say over and over again, nobody gives a fuck. Nobody get, nobody cares. Yeah. Is Matt suggesting everyone looks down on me? <laughs> well, maybe not Scotty. <laughs> yeah. uh, 
All right, I said I was going to quit. We talk about this stuff a lot, but I, you know, again, I think it's important. I do. I really think it's important. I know it drives some people away. They don't want to talk about it. It's not fish. He doesn't talk about fish. Well, there's more to life than just fish. I love my fish. It's my, my main hobby. Uh, I enjoy fish keeping a lot. I do like talking about it, but uh, there's a lot more to life, and we're all people out here, and, and it's important to talk about the other things. That's what community is all about is supporting each other and and talking about issues that we're having that's what a community is otherwise it's just a bunch of people that are talking about fish and we're all separate and we don't you know you i think by bringing up this other stuff you you help build community and you help build friendships you know and relationships and that's what that's the point in my life where i'm at it was i want to build relationships with people I want to have friends. I want to have uh, people who care about me, who look, not look up to me, but look to me for support. Uh, Nathan said, uh, what was that medicine you said gives you energy? I can sleep for days of a while because I just don't have the energy to make it through the days. I've been trying to, well, Wellbutrin is supposed to increase your energy. Wellbutrin. Yeah. And I don't know that it does for everybody. Andy Carson. Hi, Andy. I need a shirt that says, I need a water change. Certaline has worked for me, but it isn't something that makes me, but it isn't something that makes me an only happy person. Gotcha. I, I hope that this works and doesn't take away a lot of the, um, the tops. The, um, you know, uh, because again, there's a lot of this, right? But these these are good that's what sucks about all this is these are good i'm i motivated i'm i'm making you know all this fun little stuff i did that's when i was in a, on a high point and then i you, you come down here and so if it's just going to be this all the time without this it's it's difficult you miss this you don't miss this but you miss this hi june june i never did same with uh rachel not Rachel, um, Lady Rorschach. I never did send out those, um, uh, the pumps. I, I've got to do that. I will try and make an effort to get those sent out. Uh, and June, I'm just going to send you a bottle of Easy Green with the pump because I have two of them. So I was going to send one to Lady Rorschach and one to you. Uh, I just, I haven't done it. Um, but I, I will <laughs> at some point. I, at some point. Um, thanks, Mark. You know, I I, I think it's um, um, I don't know if it's something you recover from, like alcoholism. It's always there. I thought about turning left to bridge embankment a lot, and now it's less. I look up because you're taller. Vitamin D. I do take, uh, you know, my my uh, vitamins, but I don't do it regularly. I should it uh, I should should do it more often. I know Kelly Foreman said that that really helped her too with her seasonal depression. That's okay. I ate the brownies <laughs> a few times, a few times, right, dude? <laughs> um, easy way to test if you need vitamin D is go sit in the sun and roll up your sleeves. Yeah, see if you feel better. And I always feel better in the sun. I mean, I like I said, I before I was a sun bather. I would go outside all the time and be in the sun. Um, yeah. I think when you're in a good place, you often don't really take it in. But then when you're in a bad place, you really feel it. Yeah. And you miss the good times, but you don't realize that you're in a good place. You just think this is life. Uh, Jesse said, my mother-in-law is going to pass any time now. I'm sorry to hear that. Said all week in the hospital. Severe CPOD. That's what my dad had. Bowel blockage, start of cirrhosis of liver. Nothing can be done, and she's only si she's only sixty nine. I'm sorry to hear that. Yeah, I'm sorry to hear that. My dad had uh, this COPD for quite some time too before he had passed, and he wasn't much older than that. He was in his seventies. My mother, my uh, grandmother. We just looked it up the other day because. Uh, um, I, I, I haven't talked to her in forever. Now, my other grandma that I did talk to passed away a few years ago. 
Ruby, my grandma Ruby. She passed away a few years ago. Uh, but my grandma Frida, she's the Scottish one, um, she's still alive, and she's 106 years old. <laughs> I, I mean, I haven't spoken to her in decades. Um, there, there's a lot there. But uh, you can, I, we found her online. You know, you can find information about people, and she's still, she's still uh, you know, still out there. 106 years old. That's amazing. Skipper caught another one. Be strong for your significant other. It's one of the hardest times someone can go through. Yeah, yeah. Yep. It's very difficult. I, I, uh, you know, my, my wife's mom and dad are still with us, and uh, she is very close to her mom, very close to her mom, and that's something I think about from time to time is, you know, um, you know what her life is going to be like without her mom around because I was never close with my parents ever I mean never even when I was little <laughs> I was never close with my parents there's reasons there it's not just you know people say well you got to forgive them their family bullshit bullshit uh, Jenna said but that's where her dad passed from the cirrhosis and he did contribute to the liver failure Man, we we got dark. <laughs> we got dark. We ran everybody off. There's still 42 people, but we we ran everybody off. We should all just do what what Geek says and you know skip the the all over tan or uh, skip the uh, sleeves and pants and just go for an all over tan. You know they say it's a good thing to go out there and uh, sunbathe your balloon knot. You know, so maybe there's something to it. I've never tried that. Maybe I'll try that someday. Nude sunbathing. Never tried it. Losing my parents wrecked me. I wasn't even close to my parents. It hit me really hard, and I was now alone in this world. But aren't you alone, J-Rock? Uh, you've got wife and kids, and uh, did it happen before you had the your significant other? Skipper, my father-in-law's cancer is back. These past couple weeks have been shit. Man, 42 sick fucks are still here. <laughs> Nathan. <laughs> Yeah, it turned pretty dark, didn't it? But again, if nobody knows that you're going through this stuff and you're, you know, Skipper's father-in-law and Jesse's mother-in-law and all that, then, you know, it, you got to share that kind of stuff, I think. So it's it's okay to be dark, depressing when you're going through something because life is, that's what life is. We got our ups and downs, but um, you, you got to share the downs as much as the ups. And I hate it. I hate it. Believe me. I know, uh, Whip, just don't listen for a minute. You know, I, I know that I reach out to people and share things. And um, I just every time feel like I'm just a, you know, Debbie Downer. Just, uh, But I still do it. I still do it. But again, like I said last week, um, I spread it around. <laughs> Like, you know, I try not to, I try not to load everything up on Steven or, or, or on Whip or on, you know, it, it just, I don't want to say, I already said names, but just all my friends, um, I try to, you know, share a little bit over here when it's a bad thing. When it's a positive, then I want to tell everybody. But when it's a bad thing, it's like, oh, I'm going to tell this person <laughs> to give that person a break, you know? <laughs> Uh, never done a nude sunbathing thing, been naked on the beach a few times, but we were out, out there just tanning. Oh, well, I've definitely been nude outside, but it was at night. <laughs> yes, it was at night. Um, I remember uh, up on top of a big rock on South Mountain uh, in Phoenix with my ex-wife. I remember uh, in a golf course with, I don't remember who that was. It was just somebody oh, after I had gotten divorced. Uh and we got caught on the golf course. Um, yeah, there was other times outdoors, but it was always at night. Always at night. Always at night. Also, two other deaths. The stress really got to me. I shut down last night. So exhausting. Yeah, Skip. And I wish there was something I could do. I mean, I know we talked a little bit, but there's not really much you can do. Um, you know, I, I wish I could have... Um, done more but we'll stream tonight at least have a little fun or at least you know 
I just uh, don't, I never know how to help my friends other than listen. I try to be a good listener, but I never know how to help people. Uh, South Mountain is a fun, was a fun mountain bike trail that would have been a fun sight to see. <laughs> um, yeah, and it's, you know, there's uh, the regular trail up there too, the, not the trail, but the road up there, and you can park and then um, go on a little hike. <laughs> it was fun. Uh, Rachel said it's important we reach out to each other outside of YouTube. Some people don't like to talk about their struggles openly or bring them move down the streams. Yeah, yes, 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 100%. 100%. Um, and again, I'm I'm here. You know, I'm here. Uh, if people want to share things, I know some of you do. My email's up there. Some people have my phone number. I do share it with people as time goes on. I get, I get to know them more. Hi, Justin. <coughs> Big kisses. <laughs> what, the, what the hell, man? Big kisses for Florida. Okay. <laughs> um, but, you know, if somebody, if you just want to unload, I'm on Discord, on the fish cord. If you're, you know, if you want to talk, if you want to send me an email, you know, if you just want somebody to know about stuff, um, I, you know, send me an email. S shoot me a message on Discord. Um, if you've got my number, don't don't hold back, you know. Um, yeah, always fun to spread the shit around. Uh, Whip says, "I know you need this. You know this, but I never need a break. I know, but still, they're always welcome to get in touch with me if you're low when the demons come to fight them together. Yeah." And uh, I and I do know that I do know that, but at the same time, I I know that it everybody's going through their own stuff. And um, I mean, personally, for me, I don't always have a lot of room for more stuff from other people. I don't uh, because I'm dealing with a lot of stuff now. So uh, that's why I feel like spreading it around a little bit, you know. Just how did that cacti get there? <laughs> <laughs> it's just a little prick personally it may make someone comfortable who are happier secure in their lives so to hear about the sad but maybe those that aren't can really use more of this kind of support yeah we we you know uh, yeah, bah, hell you, hell you, hell you, hell you. you know that special transition you can't explain when your first kid, first kid is born is the exact opposite when your parents pass something inside dies when you're when you're at least a little close to them i didn't experience that Anyways, uh, I said I was going to end like 40 minutes ago, so uh, I'm going to go now. And um, thanks, everybody, for hanging out. Thank you, Holly, again, for the super chat like you always do. It's amazing how much support you give. Thank you so much. Um, we'll see you guys tonight. Again, we're not going to do a focus on, but uh, Skipper, Ed, and myself are going to stream for an hour uh, Be right before Foxanne goes um for her members only stream so we're just going to have a hangout tonight so if you want to come come talk to us and hang out please do so um and uh yeah that's it i'm clicking buttons